Angels hosting the Marlins. The Marlins a plus 125 on the money line. The Angels a minus 150. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Marlins getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you'd win. And the Angels laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Lazardo pitched once against the Angels last year. Five innings, one run, one earn. They lost that game 4-3 to three in L.A. Detmers did not pitch against the Marlins either last year or this year. The Marlins are 7-3 and three as a team with Lazardo on the mound. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 6.3 strikeouts per game in those games. The Angels are 3-5 and five as a team with Detmers on the mound. He's averaging five innings pitched and 6.6 strikeouts per game in those games. So both of these pitchers are bad averaging a batter an inning that they're striking out head to head the home team is seven and three the angels are six and four the favorite is on a four game winning streak the favorite is eight and two on the money line the favorite winning these games by two runs or more laying a run and a half is six and four there's been two one run games in their last 10 meetings and it was two out of the last three games they've played against each other the under is six three and one and the under eight and a half runs is seven and three the last game they played against each other, the Angels won 5-2. The game before that, the Marlins won 2-1. The game before that, the Angels won 4-3. The game before that, the Angels won 6-2. In their last handful of games overall, the Marlins are 1-4 in their last five games. Eight runs, nine runs, 12 runs, and 13 runs. Three runs and a loss, four runs and a loss, 10 runs and a win, and six runs and a loss. And they are 5-5 five five in their last 10 just overall. The Angels have won their last four games. They're 7-3 in their last 10. Six runs, three runs, four runs, ten runs. Four runs in a win, two runs in a win, four runs in a win, seven runs in a win. To me, this is a catch-22 kind of game because I could see the Angels dropping their losing streak. There's a lot of numbers here that point to taking the Angels, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the Angels with the money line. I'm going to take the Angels laying the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.